Leander, Hutto, Texas, Austin, Texas, Buda, Texas, Kyle, Texas, and Maynard. Those are the cities that people like you that found me on YouTube have decided to move to in the last six months. And today I'm gonna to share with you some of their feedback and what went into their decision to move into the area. Let's start out with Leander. As you guys know, and I've mentioned this before, one of the fastest growing cities in the entire country, especially back in 2018, 2019, and it is not slowing down, especially now that more and more developments are coming to the area. Just so you know, and, and if you haven't heard this before, Leander Springs, which was supposed to be a crystal lagoon in the middle of the city, essentially with a boardwalk, hotels, restaurants, you name it, it is not coming to fruition anymore. The city and the developer cannot come to an agreement. But good news is, is that Northline Leander, which is a $1.1 billion development, is going on and it is happening as we speak. Now, some of the clients that have found me here on YouTube, they've been able to find a home here in Leander, Texas, under $400,000, which is incredible, but there's only one community that has that price point, so you have to make sure to reach out to that number in the email or schedule that Zoom so that we can help you. Now, the majority of the reasons why people choose Leander, or the number one reason, is the top-ranked school districts. So that is something to keep in mind. If that is something that you're looking for, this is definitely a suburb or a city to consider. Now, moving on to Hutto, I actually had a family that is moving from Mexico, Sí, hablamos español, así que los podemos ayudar. They moved from Mexico, the husband, uh, got transferred through Tesla, so he, he his job is with Tesla, found a job in Tesla, they found a home in Hutto, which was the perfect combination for them between school districts and the location, because if you look at Hutto on the map, it is located on the northeast corner of Austin, Texas. It's about, give or take, without traffic, it's about 30 miles from northeast of Austin, downtown Austin. Now, with traffic, Depending on which route you take, it can be any. It can be as low as 35 minutes, or it can be as high as 45 to 50 minutes. It just depends where and how do you're living. But one of the cool things about Hutto, two things. Number one, you are within 10 to 12 minutes from the new Samsung plant, the 17 billion dollar investment that's coming into Samsung, which is huge. So that is going to bring a lot of growth to that area. Then another thing is that you are, when it comes to Tesla, and which this is the reason why this family picked this, this particular suburb, is that you can take 130, which is a toll road, 130, and you can go south all the way down to the Tesla plant, and it only takes you, honestly, about 25 minutes from where they're located, so it's not a bad drive at all. Obviously, it comes at a cost because it is toll roads, but maybe you can talk to Elon Musk, and then maybe he can cover all your toll roads, although I doubt it, but that is one of the reasons why they chose that, not necessarily because of Samsung, but because of the location compared to Tesla. And then also the school districts. She mentioned that she preferred the school districts in this particular area. And remember to do your own due diligence when it comes to that. Some of the websites that we recommend are niche.com or texasschools.gov to research the school district. So definitely something to keep in mind. Another reason why I'm a big fan of Hutto, and I've been talking about Hutto for the last three years, not only the price point, which has changed in these three years, right? This is, and we're talking about post-COVID. Prices have definitely changed. But you're right next to Round Rock, which is a very well-established suburb. And you can take advantage of the amenities in Round Rock itself. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. I'm a huge, huge fan of Hutto. And then right now, as we speak, there's a particular community where you can find homes around the $400,000 range, you know, mid 400s, maybe in, into the 500s, and then you can also find homes below $300,000. So, now up next, let's take a little break from those different suburbs, and let's talk about some of the realities that some of the clients that have found me here on YouTube, they either gave me a call, they shoot me a text, or they schedule that Zoom, and what they realized when they were looking for a house here in Austin, Texas. Number one, and I feel like a lot of people don't mention this, especially on YouTube, is that some of the people that come from out of town, they have this misconception that they're gonna find a $350,000 home 
four or five bedrooms, three bath on half an acre lot. Obviously, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but they do have this misconception and they're going to be within 20 to 25 minutes from downtown Austin. And honestly, that's typically not the case. So I want you to have a shift and realize that Austin compared to Dallas, compared to Houston, compared to San Antonio, it's the most expensive city in Texas. So that means that your dollar is not gonna go as far as you think, of course it does. Like, I'll give you an example. I have a family that just came in this week from San Diego. They bought a home this or this past week. They got on their contract and they were telling me that the home that they got here in, in San Diego, it could have easily been a million. They got it for $410,000 or $420,000 in Maynard, Texas, which you're only 15 miles from downtown Austin. The commute itself, that could vary. But what, getting back to my point is that you have to realize and you have to be flexible that the home may not check all the boxes of what you're looking for. Obviously, you're gonna get a bigger home, you're gonna get a lower price, but you're not gonna get this ideal home that you're thinking of because everything's bigger in Texas and I'm gonna get this huge home with everything that I want for a much, much lower price. So consider that and you may not be as close to Austin as you think. So you have to be flexible and realize that if you wanna check all your boxes, you may not be as close to Austin as you think. However, Austin is very small without traffic. I'll give you an example. I live in Round Rock. From my door to Town Lake or Lady Bear Lake without traffic, obviously, it takes us 22 minutes. That goes to show you how small Austin truly is. Uh, but again, this is without traffic and I know that's not reality, but uh, with traffic, obviously that increases. But what I'm trying to say is that you are still gonna be close enough, especially on the weekends, to enjoy those amenities. Okay, back to the suburbs. The other suburb that my clients have really been interested in, and this particular couple from San Diego just found a home in Maynard, and I have several families in the Maynard, Texas area, and they love it there. I actually had a couple that reached out from Seattle. This was almost two years ago or a year and a half ago. And they say, hey, we're tired of the gray weather. We're tired of the cold. We want to move somewhere else. And we want a smaller space. So Maynard has that to offer. One of the benefits about Maynard is that you're only 15 miles from downtown Austin. Now, something to keep in mind with Maynard, it is very new, it is still developing, so it may not have all the amenities that you're looking for. And that is some of the pushback and the feedback that I've gotten from people like you on YouTube is that some people love it, right? Because it's a little bit quieter, it's a little bit smaller. Some people don't because they say, well, there's not much to do there. But if you think about it, is that you're still close enough to Austin to enjoy all those amenities. Another thing, finally, Maynard's getting an HEB. And I know I've said this in all my videos, but if you're not familiar with HEB, it's a giant grocery store that we have here in Central Texas, and it has everything that you need. It is like religion out here. So that is a good sign for Maynard. When HEB comes to a town or to an area, a lot more people come to that area as well. You name it, you know, your Starbucks, your, your Chick-fil-A's, and more development just comes to the area because HEB attracts that. Another thing to keep in mind is that Maynard is also doing their best to, one, improve their school districts and their facilities and their infrastructure. And then two, which I think it's a really cool feature, they're building this paved trail. I'm not sure exactly where Maynard it's gonna be, but they're building this paved trail going from Maynard all the way to Walnut Creek Greenbelt, which is in Austin. And then that supposedly it's gonna connect all the way to downtown. So eventually you may be able to ride your bike or jog or walk all the way to downtown Austin, which is about 15 miles or give or take. So that is a pretty cool feature, meaning that you're gonna be connected and you don't have to get on your car. You know, you can do that on the weekends, you name it. Now, when it comes to communities, Tons of new communities if that is what you're looking for and that is more than likely what I would recommend. In this market today, I still highly, highly recommend going the new construction route. That doesn't mean that we can't help you with a resale home, whether it's in Austin or in the surrounding areas, but typically the builders are offering you the better incentives and the better rates. And there is one particular community that I'm really excited about because it has really good builders in that community and you're close to the main shopping area. 
and I have helped, like I mentioned before, many, many families get into the suburb and they love it, especially those that come from out of town. I also had a family, beautiful family, young family with a baby boy that they said, hey, we're in New Jersey, we're up here and we're not gonna be able to buy our first home. So we have to come down. And they actually bought their home sight on scene. We were able to help them virtually. We were able to take videos, photos, and we helped them through that, throughout the entire process. So definitely something to keep in mind. Up next, we're actually gonna take a, take a stop in Austin itself. Believe it or not, within Austin city limits, even though the city keeps expanding and they keep on taking more and more area, but we have helped people that reached out either from California or from the Northeast as well, that they decided to move out here. And they were able to find a home in Austin, a brand new home. Recently, I helped a single individual, works in the tech company, and he found a brand new home in Austin. Uh, he should be closing on this home here in August, uh, September, October, uh, probably September. Um, and this is one of the communities, I made a video about this community, one of my favorite communities in the entire Austin area. Make sure to check it out right here after you finish watching this video. But it has everything that you need. It's geared towards everybody, young families, older families, young professionals, you name it, tons of parks all around. It has a beautiful amenity center, state-of-the-art amenity center with a pool, with a co-working space. So if you need to work, if you need to change the scenery and you're tired of being at home uh, because you work from home, you can go into this place. Another cool thing that I, you know, I think I'm probably the only one that thinks it's cool is that it right next to you, right next to the community within walking distance, well, depending where you live in the community, they have a food truck park. So you can get a coffee, you can get some barbecue, you can get some tacos, you name it. So, and if you get the hotspot on your phone, you could probably work from there as well. But beautiful community, awesome community. They've done a great, great job. And the price point varies. You can go up as high into the seven to 800 thousands, or the lowest that you can go in this community with a condo in particular, you can get in the high 300,000s. And to give you some perspective, I was actually looking to buy a condo. Uh, this was probably about f three to four years ago in this community because I knew where it was going and you have to see it to believe it. And you know, I'm kicking myself for not buying that condo. I bought another property, but I'm still kicking myself for not buying a condo in this community that I knew it was gonna be a top, top destination, especially from people coming from out of town or people that live here in Texas. If you live here in Texas, obviously we can help you and this could also be a community for you in Austin, Texas. And then there's another brand new community down south, uh, even though this one's also south, but just a little bit further south that I also helped a couple, a family, they actually lived here in Texas, they lived in Austin, and they were able to find a home in this community in particular super low tax rate, a 2.0 tax rate, which is unheard of for a brand new community. It has a pool. It's a little bit of a smaller master plan community, but very well located. You're within eight minutes from an HEB, a Target, a Home Depot, the movie theater, a state park, really, really close to everything, really close to the airport. So everything that you need and easy access to I-35. I've also made a video about this community, so make sure to check it out right here. So yes, so in Austin, you also have options to find your home. And again, the price point is gonna change, but I would say if you're in the price point between high 400s to maybe 750, 800 thousands, you can definitely find a home in these communities. Now, let's go to the next two suburbs where I think you can definitely get a lot of value for your money and a ton and tons of options. And I feel like people are still not giving it a try or not considering it enough because you're still within easy access to, to downtown Austin. Give or take on the traffic on the weekends. If there is no traffic, which I-35, there's always traffic, you can get to downtown Austin within 20 minutes from some of these communities, especially the, the one that's located a little bit more north. But the, the cities that I'm talking about are Buda and Kyle. In particular, Buda has a community right off of I-35 and then 45, where you can get to downtown Austin without traffic, of course, within 20 minutes. And if you're looking for a starter home, if you're looking to buy your first home, you can definitely find homes in the low 300,000s. So keep that in mind. Now, 
just like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that you, your mindset has to change a little bit because you're not gonna be able to check all the boxes. But if you wanna buy your first home, this is a great opportunity close to downtown Austin, and you're gonna be looking about the low $300,000 for sure. Uh, master plan communities with the pool, you name it. Now, if you're looking for a little something a little bit bigger, a higher price point, they have that as well. Now, if we come up, if we come down a little bit further south, you have a very well established master plan community called Sunfield. I have a couple of clients that have bought a home here and they love it. It's a huge community. By the time they're done, they're gonna have about 8,000 homes in this community. They're gonna have three amenity centers. That means three pools in total. And two of those amenity centers have a lazy river, which is crazy to think about. I actually made a video about this community a long time ago. Make sure to check that out too. And there's tons of builders in this community. And whether you're looking for your final dream home, let's say in the 600,000s, 500,000s, maybe even 700,000, or you're looking to start and buy your first home, you can find both in this community. In fact, I had investor clients that wanted to invest here. They decided not to do it because why? And, and I'm being super transparent with you guys and honest. They decided not to invest in this community in particular or in really in Austin, in Texas in general, because they didn't calculate the taxes, the property taxes into their numbers. And that is point number two. So I made point number one a little bit earlier about being realistic. Point number two, keep in mind that property taxes are real. Property taxes are a little bit higher in a brand new community. Typically, they're gonna be above 2%, which is very normal. But if it makes sense for your numbers, if the math checks out, then it's a great opportunity. But for them, as investors out from uh, San Diego, I believe, we took a look at a lot, a lot of communities. They were about to literally buy the home, but they ran the numbers again and they decided not to do it. So again, it's not for everybody. So something to keep in mind is the property taxes. They're much higher here in Texas compared to California, uh, compared to other cities that have a much, much lower tax rate. So that is definitely something that you have to keep in mind, at least 2%, if not above. I haven't seen any communities in the Austin area yet that get into the 3%. I know that you can find them in Houston, but definitely not here in the Austin area, especially the ones that I'm talking about. But it is definitely something to keep in mind. Property taxes can definitely affect your monthly payment. And then really quickly, another tax to keep in mind is the PID or a MUD. A MUD is a permanent additional tax. A PID is temporary, but that is definitely something to keep in mind. Obviously, if you have any questions, if you need help with this, that is what we're here for. You have to reach out to that number or that email or schedule that Zoom so that we can help you. Now, on to Kyle. I'm really, really, just like I've been excited about Hutto for the last three years, I am a big fan of Kyle, Texas right now. And I usually group Buda and Kyle together. But to summarize, first, tons of housing options, especially when it comes to brand new homes. I mean, you name it, there are so many communities within a very affordable price. Right now, if I had to put one city or one suburb or those two where you can get a lot of value for your money, it would be those two. Now, there's this particular community that I wanna highlight, which is on the west side of I-35. I actually have clients that are checking out homes right now this week as, as we speak. They found me here on YouTube, they reached out, they're coming from Illinois and they're like, hey, we love it here in Austin and we wanna buy a home. So hopefully this week they will find their house, but they're looking at this particular community, which I made a video about it. Make sure to check that out as well. Beautiful community, they've done a great job. Master plan community with an amenity center and there are rumors that a second amenity center is coming, but you have very top tier builders building in this community. So you have people like Perry Homes, Highland Homes, Coventry, and I believe New Home Company as well, which is a kind of a newer community. And then also yesterday, I just got news that right next to this community, Toll Brothers is coming to the area. And that typically is a great sign of the values of that area. And especially locals, 
you will hear all the time, oh, Kyle, Texas, I don't know about Kyle, I don't, I don't know if I want to move down there, but I don't feel like people give it a try or give it the benefit of the doubt. The city itself has done a great job of promoting new business, of bringing businesses to the area. A brand new Sprouts is supposed to come, which is a, I believe it's like a $1 million investment. You have more restaurants coming to the area. You have a Costco now. So that is a great sign of what corporations, what companies think about Kyle, Texas. So I've been saying it actually on my Instagram, don't sleep on Kyle because you can get a lot of value for your money. So back to this community, you have top builders like Perry Homes, Highland Homes, uh, Coventry, and then rumor uh, a Toll Brothers community right next to it where they're going to have 70 to 100 foot lots so offering that product. And so the price point in this community, it can be anywhere from the from the mid to the high 400,000s and then all the way up into the 700,000s, but you definitely get a ton of value for the, to give you an example, one of the homes that my clients are looking at this week, this is a five bedroom, three and a half bath or four full baths. I think it's almost almost 3,000 square feet. A beautiful home, Highland home. And I think the price one is around the mid 500,000s. So keep that in mind. That is a lot of home for that price point and that particular home, again, by the time you watch this, this home might be gone, but, it, but I'm just giving you an idea of what you can get here. And I made a video about it, so make sure to check that out. But that is, that is why I'm a big fan of Kyle. You get both in Kyle. You get more of your step up home. Maybe this might be your second home, or maybe you have a higher income and you can, you can actually get into that price one. So you have that, or you're looking to retire and you're looking for that particular product. But if this is your very first home, they have that option too. You can find homes, and believe me, because we have helped families, you can find homes under $300,000, just right below $300,000. Obviously, it's not gonna be as big as the home that I just mentioned, but you can definitely find your first home here. So you get both, and that is the beauty about the city in particular. Now, going back up north, I've had two investors, one from Taiwan, and then another one, yeah, believe it or not, people that live in Taiwan reached out. They came into Austin, Texas, and they bought a investment property in Round Rock, Texas. And we're actually closing this Thursday or Friday, and they're gonna rent it right away because it's in a beautiful community with a tax rate of 1.75%, which is unheard of for a brand new community. Great investment for them. They love the area, they love the home. So if you're an investor, whether you're here in Texas or here in the US or you're from out of the country, we can definitely help you. And then the other investors, they actually bought a resale home. I know that I talk a lot about new construction, but you can also find plenty of options when it comes to resale. And there's a lot of more inventory today as we speak to find a resale home in a very well-established suburb or city like Round Rock in this particular couple. They're, I believe they're in the Bay Area in California. They bought an investment property in Round Rock and then it's fully rented as we speak to a beautiful family. In this particular family that rented it, they're also looking to buy their first home eventually. So you get everything, whether you're a first time home buyer, whether you're a step up buyer, whether you live here in Austin and you've been renting for five to six years and you're like, Julio, I'm tired of renting and I wanna buy my first home but I may not have the payment capacity or the, or the purchasing capacity to buy some of the homes that you talk about. Well, you can definitely find options a lot lower. Or you're a step up buyer and you're like, hey, this is going to be my fourth or fifth home. I'm maybe looking not to have a bigger home because I'm an em empty nester, but I want a brand new home in a beautiful community around 500, 600,000. You can definitely find that. Or you're looking to retire and you want more space with land. You name it, you can find that as well. So these are some of the cities that people like you, uh, they have found me on YouTube, they've decided to move to. Other cities worth mentioning that in the past, we're talking about you know either last year or the year before, people that have found me here on YouTube have also decided to move to our Dripping Springs, beautiful community. I have family members that live out there. That is the hill country, the start of the hill country. You can definitely find beautiful homes here, but you definitely get some different, um, you get views, you get a little bit of the hill country, right? 
Now the typical price point in this area, it's gonna be anywhere from the high 400,000s and then obviously into the millions. If you're looking for land, one acre, two acres, five acres, this is a beautiful area. And one of the reasons why you should not sleep on this area either, if you have the capacity to buy here, whether it's Dripping Springs or Bee Cave. So if you're looking at a map, they're on the southwest side of Austin, Texas. They are finally, finally expanding 71 which there was a lot of controversy about this, but however you feel it's happening, and that is gonna decrease your commute time from dip, Dripping Springs or from Bee Caves into downtown Austin. And that is only gonna bring more growth to this area. So if these homes are worth this much, let's say, you know, five, six, seven hundred thousand, you can only imagine what they're gonna be worth in 10 years from now when more and more development comes to the area. So definitely something to keep in mind. If you're in that price bracket, this is definitely an area to consider. Bee Caves is beautiful. Even in Bee Caves, you have access to Lake Travis if you go more on the north, west side of it, more on the north side of it, north of 71. We have held families out there. Lakeway, the same thing. If you're looking more for that golf course style or the boat lifestyle, there's definitely communities up there like Sweetwater or Rough Hollows. Those are definitely communities to consider. And then of course, Georgetown, uh, one of my favorite suburbs in the area, that is definitely another one to consider. But guys, those are some of the, I wanted to share with you people that have found me here on YouTube where they decided to move to and some of the feedback that they've given me. Also, I always suggest that you come visit Austin. Let's meet, maybe, you know, one time I can share with you an itinerary of some of the communities that you should go check out and then truly decide if this is the city for you because people have come before and they, they spend two to three days here and then they decide, hey, you know what, Julio, this isn't the city for me. And that's okay. It's not a perfect city, but it definitely attracts a lot of people and I don't think it is slowing down anytime soon. More and more investments are coming to the area. I just read an article that a Korean company, a steel company, uh, is opening up a manufacturing company up in Temple, which I know it's not super close to Austin, but it's still in the area, in the vicinity. So again, if you're looking to move to the area or if you live here in Texas or in Austin and you're tired of renting and you wanna buy your first home or you're looking to step up, uh, let's say you live in, in a suburb and you live in an older home and you wanna buy a newer home in a different part of Austin, we can help you. You have to reach out to that number or the email or schedule that Zoom and we can make that happen to you for you. And si sí, hablamos español, así que los podemos ayudar. But until next time, adios.